I got lost getting here last night. I think we're in the right unit anyway. Well, I didn't get lost. Lost implies I didn't know where I was. I took a wrong turn because I had it in my mind. There was a, a route here. So we had to backtrack. We're right on the Arizona-Utah border. Arizona uses daylight, or doesn't participate in daylight savings time. Utah does, so I use my phone as the <clears throat> alarm. It found a Utah cell tower, and so we all woke up about two hours earlier than we needed to. <laughs> <clears throat> it cuts out of that needed sleep time a little bit. Yeah, I'm already sleep deprived, severely. When that sun comes up on the hill, you can get a nap, man. Do you promise me yeah. that, Wade? Yeah. I'll All right. Just sit there and <clears throat> look over the country. Okay. Nothing better than sleeping in the woods. You said that. I'm. You're gonna take advantage of it. Uh, huh? I believe. <laughs> <laughs> you bet. You're gonna have some explaining to do if I don't get a nap this morning. Well, so I. Yeah. I think we just get up on the hill this morning and we can get a kind of an overlook at everything that's down below us and how things lay. Okay. And this should get us up pretty high to where we're looking into that transition stuff. A lot of oaks. Okay. I'm so, following you. Yeah, we're just going up the hill. I don't know where, but up that hill somewhere. Let's try heading out on one of these points here and see if we can get to something we can glass. I really don't know what this looks like up here, so. saying oh there's not a buck behind every tree there could be a lot of bucks here and as thick as it is you still wouldn't see them so there could almost be a buck behind every tree but I'm not sure I'd find them this is crazy first day is always a discovery day on a five-day hunt I would say that we're gonna be in scouting mode until probably tomorrow afternoon how it goes. Hey, uh, how many 200 inch bucks did you see this morning? Absolutely zero. And how many spike bucks did you see this Absolutely morning? Absolutely zero. How many forky horns did you see this zero. morning? Zero. How, how many, many deer? Just get it over with. <laughs> How many does did you see this morning? So I'm none, zero. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm sure a lot of you are like me. Your first morning of every hunt is kind of messed up, kind of disorganized. We climbed up here and now we glassed way out where we know we got to be this afternoon. See, this is not a wasted hike here, but it did two things. Hike. One, it crossed this spot off. And two, it let us look way out where we want to go. We don't want to shoot one the first morning anyhow, and then we don't have any story. It'll just be a shorter story. <laughs> That's all. Short stories are good. <laughs> right. All right, I'll pack up and we'll follow through this cat claw and jungle brush here. <laughs> it's on the menu, Ed. We're going to do some scrambled eggs and some hatch red chili and tortillas, so something to eat this morning so we can get geared up for the afternoon. Well, from way up there, I could see a juniper line out here. It's gonna be a good day. 
So here's the deal, folks. Since we only have four days left because of my calendar not being able to get here sooner, and since I dropped my trekking pole. Let me help you with that, man. <laughs> I'm getting old. So here's the plan. Wade and Marcus are gonna go on those ridges and glass all that this evening. Michael and I are going this way and glass all that. So if you wonder why we're split up, it's because if I'm gonna shoot a good 120 inch three by three, I gotta get with it. Hang around folks, Wade's gonna show you how you do this. Me, I'm just gonna go over here and catch up on more of my nap. Michael <laughs> and I have a deal that he leaves the camera running and we just nap. Yeah. I'll meet you right back here. Okay. If Sounds I like hear a, plan. a shot, I'll come hustling okay. over there. Sounds like a plan. All right, guys. Good luck. I'll just do a lot of shooting just to get him to run over. There you go. <laughs> see over there and see if I can catch them moving out of that juniper stuff into that pocket. Nothing else. I got a souvenir from the Kaibab. You people see what I do with shads, right? There you go. about done here. It says we got eight minutes of shooting light. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Maybe with the aid of this full moon, but right at sunset, so about 20, 25 minutes ago, does started popping up out here. You can't tell in this thick brush if it's one doe or five does. Some of them I know it's multiple, but no antlers. So. But hey, better than this morning. This morning was like strikeout. So I'm gonna probably start packing up and got a bit of a hike back to the truck. Don't do us any good to stay here and stink the place up when you can't shoot, so tomorrow. Do some baked potatoes in the coals. Got some salad. I don't know who's gonna eat salad though. I'll eat salad. Then we got tenderloins. This uh, elk that Wade came with us when we shot this elk that this tenderloin is from. When did we do that? A month ago? Wasn't even that long ago. Three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, man. <laughs> Look at that, huh? Hmm? Elk tenderloin. Trade. <laughs> mm. Perfect. Is it? Yeah. All right. Mm. Let's see what we got. Hot. <laughs> Perfect. 
I'd hike all the way up there again just for that. <laughs> okay, look at that, folks. I don't know what you had to eat tonight, but I can promise you, you aren't eating as good as we are tonight, unless you had elk tenderloin on your grill. Boy, that looks good.